Okay, everybody. So, sugar content of the sap determines how many gallons of sap it will take to make one gallon of syrup, okay? But how do we figure out the sugar content of that sap? Here's how. We're gonna need a sap hydrometer, not a syrup hydrometer, a sap hydrometer. Let me show you. Okay, so as you saw, that sap hydrometer needs the sap to be 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So we take this and we fill it with sap any which way you want. It's our old sap hydrometer cup. This holds, eh, they have different sizes, about half a, half a cup. All right, going to be very gentle here. Be very gentle with this. Okay, this is that sap hydrometer, and I'm not getting any focus. Glass, 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 be careful. And it's weighted at the end. So do not, if you get one of these, do not drop it in real hard, okay? Ah, let me get rid of that. Okay, so first, not this, first, temperature, okay? Where's my temp thermometer? There it is. So, if you want to be real precise, you take the temperature, and once you make sure that she's 38 degrees, oh yeah, she's going higher. 38 degrees. All right, gently, guys, gently place this in. Yes, we're gonna overflow because I put I put a lot in there. Okay, real gentle. And she floats, guys. She floats. Let's see what the number is. Oh, come on, turn back around to me. Oh, she's spinning. Hang on. There. And she hid from me again. There we go. Okay. Ooh, guys, she's looking at about two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, two and a half, what the heck does that mean? Well, two and a half percent sugar. Those numbers represent the percentage of sugar that is in that water, in that sap, okay? Now, at 38 degrees, if that sap is 38 degrees and you put that sap hydrometer in there and she is two and a half, okay, that means she's two and a half percent sugar. So what do we do with that? How many gallons? Well, you divide 86, divided by whatever that number was, okay? 2.5, which gets you 34.4. So, 34, almost 34 and a half gallons of sap this year. For me, out of my trees this year, each year's different. 34.4 gallons of sap make one gallon of syrup. So that means it takes 8.6 gallons of sap to get me this quart because a gallon divided by four, four quarts in a gallon, therefore 34.4 divided by four equals 8.6. To get me this quart, I had to boil off 8.6 gallons. Now, 34 gallons to the gallon, 34 gallons of sap to the gallon of syrup is really, really good. And I've been telling people all year long, this is gonna be a great sugar year. And it is. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. Basically, you figure out the sugar content of your sap. I have someone around here just tripping me up. <laughs> he wants loves. Figure out the sugar content of your sap. 86 divided by that percentage. Not percentage, but use it as a decimal. Like if it's two and a half, 2.5, okay? You don't move the decimal point over for percentage. Sorry, that's getting too technical for you. All right, whatever that number is on your sap hydrometer, 86 divided by that number gets you the gallons that you will need to boil off of sap to make one gallon of liquid gold. Hey, everybody. Catch you later. Subscribe. Got more coming.
Please share this video if you think it's going to help anybody. Subscribe. Hit the bell. This is Patch. He's one of ours. <laughs> He's a lover. All right. Believe me, he doesn't get in the sap. Don't worry about it. Keep it clean. Anyway. All right, guys. Catch you later. That's the thing about maple syrup season. You never know what you're going to get. One minute it's sunny. The next, ah, well, you got a bunch of snow. Anyway, just make sure you enjoy it thoroughly and you enjoy it all.